Hi guys! This is Doc Ian with a first look at some um, miniatures that arrived in my mail today from Heresy Miniatures. Um, the reason this is worth a first look and not just a mention in some other video is that these are some sort of unique miniatures. They, I, they're um, the result of a Kickstarter I backed some while ago that has been delivered now. And it, it was a Kickstarter called Return of the Monsters, and it was, I think, mainly aimed at um, putting some of their old large monster figures back in production, at least temporarily. Uh, however, I my pledge was not for those big, beefy demons. I got some smaller, more, more <laughs> practically useful monsters out of it. And I'd like to show you some of them, but first I'm going to show you a miniature that was um, my bonus miniature for backing the Kickstarter at all. They gave you uh, your choice of any one miniature from a list. What's this headless thing, you might wonder? It's a, it's a magician that has a lot of separate pieces. A lot of Harry Singh miniatures are built with separate pieces. This one has a staff that is separate, and it has a choice of three heads plus an optional hat. Now this is not something they do for every mini, but it's not uncommon either to have all these choices, which I quite like. It's a good idea. It's a, it, it provides some customization. Um, the same level of customization can be seen in the first of my actual Kickstarter minis, which was this vampire. Again, he has a choice of different heads. And they might look a little odd. This is because this one has very flowy hair, as does this one, slightly less flowy. This one is a, in the middle of a typical Nosferatu type head. Uh, I also got a vampire in in a sort of transformed shape in, as a man bat. Now his wings are separate. Uh, he doesn't actually have any arms. The, the, the arms turn into the wings. You can see there's hands at the ends of the pinions there. And I hope you can see that the casting is pretty nice on these and uh, the sculpting as well. Nice detail, as realistic as you can imagine, getting for this sort of thing. Uh, here's a couple of minis that, that are cast in a single piece, though. The only ones in this that I got. These are the Furies, which are female demons. On these, unfortunately, you can probably see some pretty clear mold lines running down the legs. They look sort of like stocking seams, almost. But even though they're pretty visible now, I think they're, they're not too deep. They're relatively shallow, and they should be able to be filed down without too much trouble. And uh, they look pretty similar, these two, but one has armor and one doesn't, and the armored one has a whip while the other has a sword. But I think they're probably based off the same sculpt. The wings look very similar. Um, now we get to the really complex minis. These are the Leaping Lurkers, and you see that you only have bodies here. And then we have some separate arms. And lots of different choices of heads. I mean, there's like, oops, sorry. Mm, four different heads for two bodies. And I think the reason the arms are separate is that it's much easier to get a three-dimensional miniature that way. It's, it's easier to cast something relatively flat. So if you want three-dimensionality to have size towards the sides and up and outwards, 
you have to cast these separate pieces and and have them assembled later. Um, and I have a second set of lurkers. These these are called the crouching lurkers, and they also have limbs separate. Uh, they even have these even have only one leg on the main body and one leg separate is attached and here's two arms and here's another two arms again here's four heads I think is this the same sprue yeah I think the head sprue is the same for these two different kits for the two different bodies that'd be nice and finally we have the wasp ketos now these are uh, they, they have these flying stands I'm not going to show them to you but, but um, and this is this is the body of a kind of a wasp like monster it has some legs and the other set of legs is on the sprue and it has four wings that are on the sprue these are kind of like Sturgis from D&D &D, except they're a bit more wasp-like in that they have these long tails with stingers yeah these look pretty fun and they're not high in my priority for painting but I'm glad they finally arrived and they are good quality stuff and while Heresy said that most of these minis would be unique for the Kickstarter. I mean, they they seem to have uh, started backtracking a little bit on that, and at least some of them will be available for general purpose purchase. I think, maybe not the big demons, but uh, I know some of the smaller monsters will. Uh, they've advertised that. See, they're not completely averse to making money. Well, that was a brief look at some new monsters from Heresy. I hope you had some uh, use of this information. And in any case, this is Doc Eon, and for now, I'm signing off.